All right, YouTube. We got the tree down. Now we're going to start taking the siding off at the bottom of the house so we can expose the the wood and see exactly what we're working with. And uh, I want to show you guys this. Put a new chain on the big saw. And we instantly cut into the tree and sparks started flying. We thought we hit a nail. I ended up having to cut the tree down with the little 14 inch saw because it ruined the chain. And I just stayed out of that area and then pushed it over with the forklift when I felt like I had enough of the tree cut away. But anyways, so that's probably three-eighths piece of angle iron I guess I don't know exactly what it is or how it got in the tree but that's grown into the tree and it their other piece of it is is right here it snapped it off so it's still down in the in that side of the tree and this side of the tree I don't know if somebody splinted the tree with that at some point or if there was a pasture fence here or what caused that to be in the tree but that's our luck anyways so we got that done, we're gonna get that uh, siding off the bottom. And then we we got these holes both closed up from inside here so that we can have it sealed up enough, you know. And then we got the uh, the basement. out besides the old hot water heater and the uh, that old cabinet we're gonna get it out of here somehow but we're planning to we're planning on since we're gonna stay here during this we're gonna lift this hot water heater up and kind of attach it to the floorboards of the house so that we can still have our hot water heater here and uh, we will uh, plan to attach a uh, we'll plan to attach a flexible four inch pipe here in this sewer line for now to get us by until we uh, are ready to put in the new sewer line because I'm staying here and working on this place at the same time. So, anyways, thanks for watching.